In this video, we'll be taking a look at this profitable process of earning cryptocurrencies while keeping the network running that is essential to Bitcoin. Any ideas? You guessed it, we're talking Bitcoin mining. This video will cover an overview of mining and also some of the core cryptographic elements that you should know. Like gold miners using picks and shovels to extract gold, a Bitcoin miner needs two things, mining hardware and also energy, and from that, they'll produce a new block for the blockchain. So can anyone start mining? Well, technically, yes, anyone can become a Bitcoin miner as long as they have a pretty powerful computer and energy to power that computer. Miners essentially are just computer owners who contribute their computing power and energy to the network of a proof of work based cryptocurrency like Bitcoin. The first miner to validate the new block for the blockchain actually receives a portion of the currency that's mined as a reward. This remuneration is then called a block reward. But that's not all, the reward for Bitcoin miners actually consists of two things, all transaction fees in the block that are mined validated and the additional incentive of a specific block reward of a newly mined coin in the process, which is what we've just covered. So block rewards actually give anyone in the network the incentive to participate in the process and also to ensure that it's run properly. Without some form of mining, blockchain technology in the way that we know it actually wouldn't function in the same decentralized manner. So we've already talked about how Bitcoin blockchain works in previous Academy videos. If you'd like a recap, you can click back on our Bitpanda Academy videos, what is blockchain and how does it work? So miners' computers are actually referred to as nodes that consistently collect and bundle individual transactions from the past 10 minutes into blocks. The computers then compete to solve a complex cryptographic puzzle to be the first to validate this new block for the blockchain. So what happens to the miner who is the first to validate the new block on the blockchain? Well, this is then broadcast to the entire network and the other nodes to check if the solution is correct. If everything is in order, then the new block is then added to the blockchain. This will continue indefinitely 24 seven. That is until the final of the 21 million Bitcoin have been mined, but it's estimated that the last Bitcoin will be mined around the year of 2140. So we have a while to go. So as more and more units of Bitcoin continue to be mined, the difficulty of these cryptographic puzzles actually increase. But what does that mean for those that are mining the cryptocurrency? Well, it means that miners actually have to increase their computational power to continue earning the same amount of Bitcoin for solving these cryptographic puzzles. So I can see what you may be thinking now. Why is the difficulty of these cryptographic puzzles actually increasing? While the puzzle solving mechanism is actually necessary to protect the Bitcoin network from being compromised by attackers, if anyone wants to reverse a transaction in the Bitcoin blockchain, well this would take a 51% of the whole network's computing power. So to solve the issue of hackers buying fast, powerful computers to take over a 51% attack, these cryptographic puzzles actually increase in difficulty. Now, what's important to note is that such a heist would actually be so expensive that it would actually be really difficult to modify the transactions that were validated before the attack. The older a transaction would be, the more difficult it would be. So just how profitable is mining? Well, remember at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that the block reward goes to the first miner to validate a new block for the blockchain and they receive a portion of the currency that's mined as a reward. Well, if the cryptocurrency is doing well in price, then mining can certainly be very profitable. But if the cryptocurrency is in a bear market or has experienced a serious price drop, the energy output that comes from mining these cryptocurrencies actually sometimes can have higher operating costs than the rewards. So now you've had an overview of Bitcoin mining, is it something that would appeal to you? If you're tempted to get involved, let me know in the comments below. And if you want some more information on Bitcoin mining, you can click on our next video, what is Bitcoin mining difficulty? And also be sure to subscribe to the Bitpanda Academy so you don't miss any more content like this.